Hi there, I'm Dr. Hansen with Hansen Chiropractic and Injury, and today we have John with us. John's been a long-term patient, and he does a lot of computer work, and uh, um, uh, a lot of sitting, and has developed an issue with what's called forward head posture, which is a really common posture to create a lot of neck pain and headaches. And so today I'd like to show you how I take, how I adjust him to uh, restore normal posture in the neck and relieve some of the tension off the nerves in the neck and the muscles. Uh, to relieve his neck pain and the headaches. So, John, if you want to go ahead and face towards that mirror to start with. And so, when we look at John to start off with, from the side view, um, from the top of his shoulders, his head is carried forward relative to the top of the shoulders. And that puts a lot of pressure on the muscles at the base of the neck that come across the shoulders, uh, which also puts pressure on the joints at the base of the skull and at the base of the neck. So I'm going to be Focusing in on those areas specifically, we're going to work on opening up his shoulders, bringing his chest up and out, and going through it that way. So, John, if you want to go ahead and go ahead and lay on your stomach face down here. So, when I start adjusting, I always like to just get a general feel of the muscles and where the tension areas are. In John's case, he gets a lot of pressure right here where the lower neck meets the upper back. He's got quite a bit of rounding, what's called the kyphosis developing in his mid-back. And then right where that section of the spine where it curves backward, curves forward, that also is locking up there. And so that's an area of concern right here. So we're gonna start by working through his low back. I'm gonna have you lay on your right side down and face towards me. S1 joint. There we go. Let's go on your other side here. And right there. There we go. That looked great. I'll have you go ahead and lay on your back there, John. And I'm going to work through the thoracic spine now, so I'll have you go ahead and sit up here. And we're going to release the joints through the middle part of the back. There we go. We're going to sit up here. There we go. That felt good, I bet. Okay. Now the lower part of the neck is where he's getting a lot of compression. So as you carry the head forward, the joints at the base of the neck have a lot of stress being put on them. So I'm going to be adjusting to release the joints at the base of his neck. So I think a contact point real low. And we're gonna work right through there. And easy. Right here. One distraction, I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit up here. And then go ahead and lay all the way back. And I'll explain what we're doing here. So what I'm doing with John right now is I'm putting him in the opposite posture, what's called the mirror image. And if you can picture, we're taking the rib cage that's rounded and the head that's forward, and we're putting him in the opposite posture of that. So we're bringing the rib cage up and out and the head back. And I'm going to use what's called a drop piece, which is where the table drops like this. And what happens is that stimulates what are called proprioceptors. Proprioceptors are position receptors found mainly at the base of the skull. If you've noticed, if you have poor posture, uh, as soon as you relax, you go automatically into that poor posture uh, placement. That's because that's literally wired into your neurology. What this adjustment does is helps to unwind that firing pattern and reestablish a new firing pattern holding a new and better posture. So that's what we're going to do for John right now. So I'll have you go ahead and tuck your chin. Good. And this is helping to bring the head back over the shoulders relative to the thorax. Stay right there. I'm going to use an instrument also to stimulate those proprioceptors. Okay. 
that helps to bring the head back over the shoulders. Now I'm going to have you go ahead and sit up here. And I'll have you go ahead and lay all the way back there, John. And I like to get into the shoulders. A lot of times a person's posture, when they get rounded in the mid-back, their shoulders will internally rotate. In other words, if you stand in your posture with your arms to, to just to your sides, your hands should be like they're in holsters. They should be parallel to you. If you're standing and you let your arms just kind of relax and you're like this, where the backs of your hands are facing forward here, that means your shoulders are twisted internal, what's called internal rotation. And that will lock the shoulders into this rounded posture and it will not allow the head to shift back. And so you get stuck in that kind of a posture. Okay, so I like to get into the shoulders and unwind the shoulders and the clavicle, sternoclavicular joint. Good. And this always feels, generally it feels really good. You know, you just, you can feel it kind of unwinding, a lot of tension and pressure. And I think a lot of us are kind of wound up in this direction. So again, I'm going to use a, a drop piece to shift that shoulder joint. We're just going to work real easy there. Good. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. A lot of times when I'm uh, working on the, the shoulder like this too, we'll get releases. You'll, you'll hear a release or an audible or a pop that comes out of the sternum uh, right here or the sternoclavicular joint or the AC joint in the shoulder. And again, this is all pressure that has built up and, and that just creates that postural tension. So a lot of times if you're feeling like you always need a massage because the muscles in, sh in their shoulders are tight down into the mid back up into the neck it's not so much that the muscles are the problem it's because they're attached to a structure that's in the wrong position okay good let's have you go ahead and stand here John and go ahead and sit towards me you stay in a comfortable relaxed position I feel better yeah so Right away, I mean, I really noticed a couple things with this. One, if you notice when you look at John, boy, he's just way more up and out. His head is nice and back over the shoulders. His shoulders are opened up here. His hands are parallel to the sides versus when he started when they were facing down. So this is one of the changes that we would see with this kind of a posture. So what I would do next with John is we'd do traction to stretch the ligaments along the front of the neck. And then we'd also follow up with uh, exercises, postural exercises uh, on the power plate. And so those are some of the things that we do in the office. So if we can ever help you for text neck, computer neck, uh, chronic computer posture issues, headaches, neck pain that's associated with it, then give us a call or go to our website, everettpainrelief.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.